Just a little sneak peek of the action we will be consuming this morning. Ooh, chicken of the sea. What will that bring us? Hello, and welcome back to Pat's Kitchen. I am Chef Pat, and today we are going to be making five of my favorite, super easy, high protein, balanced breakfast. Let's get started, meal number one. Tools and ingredients you will need for today's meal. Scale. This is recommended over other measuring tools because you only need the one. You don't need a teaspoon and a tablespoon and a cup and whatnot. You just need one scale. Cinnamon, optional. Honey, Greek yogurt, nuts of choice. And cereal of choice. I have toasted oats, which is the off brand of, oh, sorry, Honey Nut Toasted Oats, which is knockoff Honey Nut Cheerios. I don't wanna hear a peep about if this is bad. It's food, it's sustenance, it's keeping me alive. So let's go. The Greek yogurt I have today is Oikos Triple Zero. It can be any kind of Greek yogurt you want. This is just the Greek yogurt I happen to have, and it's pretty good macros. They're not on the container, but it's like 15 grams of protein and like 100 calories, so it's great. Two of them. I think the Triple Zero part is like for zero sugar, zero net carbs, zero fat. I could totally be wrong, I don't know. Any flavor you want, I go with vanilla because I like vanilla and I like the way it goes with cereal, so. Vanilla! Next, honey. You can um, also totally just eyeball all of these meals if you're not like super big on tracking, doesn't really matter. I'm just calculating all of this, you know, for those who care, you know what the macros of each meal are. Nuts. Nuts. Today I have walnuts, the brain of the nut family, because it looks like a brain and apparently it's really good for your brain, omegas and such. Why did I choose walnuts? Not for that purpose, I just think they're tasty. Choose any nut or legume you prefer. Whoa, they make this impossible. What the heck? Nuts. <laughs> Lastly, our cereal. If you're afraid of mainstream cereals, uh, you can use like puffed rice. I also really like puffed rice. <laughs> Lastly, cinnamon. To taste. Is this for any like reason? No. Does cinnamon have benefits? Surely yes, I think it's like anti-inflammatory. Am I eating it for that reason? No! You can if you want though. Voila! The parfait slash just yogurt bowl with cereal and nuts. Complete. <laughs> Next on the menu we have hard boiled eggs and bagel. Hard boiled eggs are great because you can meal prep them and peel them in advance or don't peel them, just like have them around. Very great, you don't have to hard boil them obviously, you can have the eggs any way you want but Hard boiled makes it a lot more convenient because they're just like ready when you want them. And a bagel. Uh, this is just a plain one. Feel free to flavor if you want. It literally just dawned upon me at this exact moment that I don't have a toaster. Toast it if you want. This is gonna be bagel in the raw. Bagel in the raw this morning. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. You get a little bit of protein from peanut butter. I see people using peanut butter as like their example of a source of protein. That hasn't made the most sense to me because peanut butter is definitely predominantly a fat source. Not to say it doesn't have protein, but I would not use it as a source of protein. If that makes sense, because you're gonna be getting a lot more fat and in this one, more carbs than protein, but Let's peanut butter the bagel. Perfect, so I did like one tablespoon of peanut butter, so about 16-ish grams. Another great thing you can do is chop up one of your eggs. Ooh, 
Oh my gosh. And put it on your other bagel half if you don't want to eat a plain bagel. And there, now you have bagel sandwich. Plus a little bit, just a little sprinkle, sprinkle of salt. And meal number two is complete. Sans yapping, probably, probably like one minute prep time, especially if you have your eggs pre hard boiled. So that's a pretty good deal to me. Meal two complete. Meal three. Okay, meal three is honestly probably the meal I eat the most frequently for breakfast, especially once I kind of get on a kick of it, then I'm on it. I was on the protein oatmeal kick for a good like five, six months. Then I kind of fell off for a minute, went to the yogurt cereal vibe, but had this the past couple of days and it's always a surefire breakfast that will fill you up and get you ready for the day. So, protes. Now this serving size is the serving size that I usually have, which is basically like one serving. But if you're bigger or you're more hungry in the morning or you know, you just want to eat more, totally feel free to do so, okay? Don't limit yourself to the imaginations of Pat. Your limitations your imagination. So, this is the moment when we have to use everybody's favorite kitchen tool, the microwave. If you don't have a microwave or you don't like using it, the stove top also works. Or you can eat it raw, probably. I don't know, that'd be more difficult to digest though, so. You know, proceed with caution. Okay, once those oats are cooked, now we'll add in our protein powder. Today I'm using Gorilla Mine Code Beef Vanilla Protein Powder. Feel free to use any flavor you want. I just like using vanilla because I find it to be the most flavor versatile. This is a time when texture subjectivity will definitely come into play. If you don't like the way this is looking, and you would prefer it to be a little more watery. I don't know, I've seen people eat oats in many different forms. Add more water. I'm not going to though. This part's also pretty subjective, the fruit that you wanna add. I have been adding strawberries lately. You can add whatever your little heart desires. Also, how much you add, like to be honest, unless you're like on prep or like there's some sort of reason why you need to track your carbs and your fruit intake that closely, then I don't know, it's like not that big of a deal to me, but yeah, we're gonna measure it today. <laughs> and there you go. There's our prot breakfast. <laughs> Also something I really like to do for the proats is make them and then keep them overnight in the fridge. Kind of like uh, overnight oats, but for overnight oats you usually don't cook them first. Anyway, I like to cook them first because it just like is, first of all, easier to digest. Second of all, mushy. I love the mushy oats in the morning. Also, I like them cold. I don't really like to eat super hot things. So also something to consider trying if you're wanting to mix up your boring protein oat routine. Next, so excited. We got a little bit of a controversial one. Tuna in the morning, tuna for breakfast, chicken of the sea. Uh, if you're into it, you're into it. The girls that get it, get it. Again. Again, God damn it, again, this is my breakfast, my breakfast, and tuna just so happens to be on the menu, baby. Ugh. I love tuna. 
Don't eat too much of it though, because you will probably die. Yay! One can of tuna. Drained. Next, we will once again be using the microwave. This is just because I happen to have pre-cooked microwave rice, but you can cook the rice yourself in a rice cooker. I usually would cook it on the stove. Doesn't really matter, but we got sticky white rice. While that rice is cooking, I'm gonna show you how I like to mix up my tuna. Usually I'd use mayonnaise, like I had Kewpie mayo for a really long time after that one video that I made sushi, but I recently ran out. So I'm using garlic aioli right now. Slightly different than mayonnaise, but still a fat source. Oop, oop. I think it's like mayo based. Don't quote me on that. Golly, oh my gosh. What the hell? <laughs> oh, relish, moose tard. Nice. The garnishes, you can like for sure garnish to your taste preference. This is just how I make it. A little bit, just a little bit, yep. This is also a nice addition. Classies up the thing. A little bit classier. Very tasty. Voila. This is a bit of a smaller meal. Sometimes I'm honestly not hungry in the morning, so I don't really feel like eating and I just wanna eat something little. If this appeals to you, all of this that's going on, but it's a little bit too itty bitty baby for you and you need a little bit more oomph, I would just recommend like doubling it. Add another can of tuna. Very easy to measure because it comes in can form or more rice or a vegetable or something. Okie dokie. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, breakfast number five, a smoothie. Let's start out with some frozen fruit. I got this one from Costco. It is a blend of dragon fruit, mango, passion fruit. Does it matter what kind of fruit you use? Not really, no. It's just up to you. I honestly don't even really like this mixture of fruit, but <laughs> it's what I have because I got it and I'm gonna use it. Ah. Our avocado, nice. Avocado is great in both sweet and savory things because it tends to take on the flavor of whatever you pair it with. It's just a magical fruit along with beans. Some banana also helps thicken up the smoothies. Thickening, thickening, thickening. Protein powder, again, we have Gorilla Mine, code beef, vanilla. Now for the Bev, you can add milk, you can add juice, you can add water. I'm gonna add water because... I don't really feel like putting milk in this one with this particular blend of fruit. If it had just been like strawberries and bananas, maybe. Not with the dragon fruit though, are you kidding me? Ooh. Next, to make our minds feel a little bit better, some greens, micronutrients. This is baby spinach, baby chard, baby kale. It's very important to get it while it's a baby because that's when it's like ugh, cutting down the young. It's just incredibly more nutrient. Nutrient dense. Let's see. Ooh, look at that, wow.
very good very refreshing you would think a smoothie wouldn't take that long but to me they like kind of maybe take longer but smoothies are always just like such a treat you know when you actually take the time to make them very nice breakfast number five smoothie complete okay gang and that is it that concludes my five breakfasts for the morning um all of which i considered to be pretty easy i consider myself to be an extremely low maintenance low effort individual contrary to what many may believe so i don't like to complicate it especially with food i'm just like not I don't really, I don't, I just don't care enough, you know? So I like to keep it easy. I like to keep it simple. I like to keep it filling in a manner that helps me reach my goals. So, God, God. So I hope you like some of these, maybe found them helpful in some way for an inspiration or something. I'm in no way encouraging anybody to eat exactly the way that I eat. And I won't be offended if you think my breakfast suck, but I would really appreciate if you would like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and please leave a silly comment below, because I always love hearing from you, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Hold up. Actually, I also forgot to mention, if you guys would like to see more fun, exciting activities, please check out the real, wait, <laughs> The Lean Beef on Snapchat, that's my username. Also, Lean Beef Patty on Instagram. Lean Beef Patty here on YouTube. Lean Beef Patty on TikTok. And um, yeah, so I post routines on Instagram. I post, I don't know, random stuff on TikTok. I post my life on Snapchat. So <laughs> yeah, also I just, I don't know. I was advised to throw that in here too. So I'm throwing that in there. Self-plug, let's go. Yippee! Adios! Psh.